Hello everyone, I'm Kate Fletcher from Hakima Place and Hakima Hills. We have put together a little virtual tour for you so that you can see how lovely our new school is. We have some pictures of the classrooms, the teachers, the admin, the cooks, and the children. We hope that you'll enjoy this little run through um, because you can't come there and we can't show it to you in any other way. So please, as the children say when they make a presentation, sit back, relax, and have fun. God bless you. You have built this school and you must be proud. Thank you. This first picture is looking across the campus at the Purple Library and the third grade classroom beside it. The flowers are in front of the administration building. This is the entrance where there is an archway with a warrior on the wall who doesn't have a face. He does at this time and his wife is on the other side of the wall saying goodbye when he is saying welcome. From the second floor above the dining room, we see a better view of the, the ramp, the access ramp to the second floor rooms, the purple library and the yellow third grade. This is taken from that same side, looking back at the dining room downstairs, dining, kitchen and storage, and upstairs, the life skills classrooms, which will teach baking and cooking and sewing and computer and music and art. Again, another shot of the, of the assembly place in the front of the school building in the middle, and looking again at the library in third grade. This shot looks at class four, five, and six downstairs, and seven, eight, and nine upstairs. The art room is in the corner and is a wonderful studio. This shot is looking at the door of the art studio all along the life skills classrooms and the view of the campus on the left. Now, when we go back to the administration building, the building, the room right next to it is the nursery. These are four-year-old children on an assortment of colored plastic desks. Their teacher is having a wonderful time showing them something and the curtain on the window is so they can sleep after they eat lunch. Here's a little independent study. These, the room in the back that you see the door for is a washroom where the children in nursery and kindergarten have their own washroom so the teachers can always be with them. This is class one. There are 30 lockers across the back wall and very fancy desks because when children graduate from kindergarten, they really expect to be hot stuff when they make it to first grade. So they have the fanciest desks in the school. They're wearing track suits because this must be the day when they don't come in uniform the day when they have PE. And here they are again, looking very studious. This is class two. They have a different style of desks, but all of the desks aim to be formed into groups of two or four or six children because the new curriculum is looking for children to peer teach each other rather than the teacher talking all the time. This dining room shot is named Martha's Table by the people who donated the money to plan it. The children are having 10 o'clock tea. These two little ones from the nursery class are sitting outside in the sunshine <clears throat> and not looking too happy to be there. This is tea again, where everybody comes at 10 o'clock, staff and children, and they get their tea and bread then in the afternoon, after they have eaten lunch, they get porridge to fill them up till they get home in the evening. This is kindergarten. The nursery teacher and the kindergarten teacher have their combined children. The school only has five grades, nursery, kinder, and one, two, three. And at, when we very first started, there were only 12 children. This is Deborah. She's in the reception area of the administration building and the picture, pictures on the wall behind her are the major donors who actually built the school. The art studio, which was commissioned by my Czech daughter, 
who was an exchange student with me, and the artist himself, Boniface, who painted every wonderful thing on this studio. This is the banner that illustrates Africa. When we go down to the kitchen, the kitchen has to be able to serve 300 lunches every day and a tea and a porridge. So we have some heavy duty commercial items in the kitchen, though we only have 40 children at the time. This is a view of the children uh, washing hands and picking up their tea and bread at 10 o'clock. Here's another one. The two cooks are helping at the table and there are two teachers watching what's happening. At recess time, on the assembly grounds, the children are running a race here and you can see the Kenyan flag and the American flag in the distance. This was the day when all of the teachers and the staff uh, assembled in the library with the principal, the head of the board of management, and then all of the teachers. And here is the wonderful bus that Myland donated to us, <clears throat> a bus which replaces the old bus that Hakima Place used from 2012. This is a picture of our accountant with some Hakima children, but it's holiday time, so they're in play clothes. When the bus finally came, the school had already been closed. This is Gracie being very proud of the bus. This is Mr. Kenua seated on the bus to give you the interior shot, and the accountant, George Opio, uh, showing us the first aid box. And so now we've done a tiny tour of all the things inside this wonderful gate. And we thank you because it became real. It changed from a dream to a reality because of you. Thank you and be so blessed. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little tour of Hakima Hills School. Uh, I hope you relaxed and enjoyed it as the children would encourage you to do. And if you have any uh, questions or comments about the tour or about ways to help the children in Kenya, please jot a line to hakimahills18 at gmail. Know that you are in our daily prayers. We never, ever forget to ask God to bless you for doing this wonderful work. Thank you.